Hello everyone, I'm Cypria, a Principal Cloud Architect from Oracle. Today let's talk about OCI Generative AI Service. Before that, let's try to understand what's the difference between Predictive AI and Gen AI. Predictive AI focuses on recognizing the patterns and making predictions. It powers chatbots, image recognition, and language tools. While on the other hand, Gen AI goes further by creating new content, text, images, code, and more. The OCI Gen AI service is really designed with enterprises in mind, right from the start. You have a lot of flexibility. If you just want to experiment or run smaller workloads, you can use it on demand. But if you need something more powerful and predictable, there are dedicated AI clusters available for you, giving you consistent pricing and performance. What's great is that the privacy and security are the priorities at every step. Any custom models or data, you can stay completely private. They are never shared with anyone outside your organization. Plus, you can further fine tune the models to fit your specific needs. If you already have existing workloads, integrating OCI Gen AI service into your current setup is straightforward. How does a generative AI work? The user provides an input or a prompt in the natural language. The large language model, that is LLM, then analyzes this text and generates response. It can summarize, transform, extract or classify information based on the prompt and delivers the output in the format requested by the user. Let's switch to the OCI console and navigate to analytics and AI and then go to generative AI service. This page provides an overview of available services, including service stores, documentation, metrics, and so on. You can open the playground to explore the chat and other generative AI capabilities. In this video, let's explore chat and embeddings. Under the chat section, you can select a model and quickly interact with a large language model. You can either use one of the existing examples or start typing your own prompt. Here, I'm entering a prompt to generate a job description for principal data scientist role at Oracle, along with several requirements. Let's see what the model generates. Initially, I noticed the response was limited to around 599 tokens. Since I wanted a more detailed job description, I update the parameters such as maximum tokens temperature, and others to refine the output. Let's try out a different model. I'm going to select MetaVision Instruct Model. Firstly, I need to accept the license agreement and click Submit. Next, I'll upload an image for analysis. Here, I'm going to upload a screenshot of racing car. Now, I'll ask the model who is the sponsor for this car. The model responds, the sponsor is Oracle, as indicated by prominent display of the logo. A token is a word, part of a word, or a punctuation. For example, Apple is one token. Friendship is two tokens, which consists of friend and ship. When you run a model in the playground, you can set the maximum number of output tokens. The temperature is the level of randomness used to generate the output text. Top K and top P. These settings affect how the model picks the next word. Higher value makes the responses sound more natural and diverse. Frequency and presence penalty. These help reduce repetition and encourage new and varied words. The seed parameter is used for ensuring that your results stay consistent, even though the model includes randomness in how it generates text or images. Let's check out the code. Under the development tools, you can pick the language of your choice. Let's review the Python code. Here, you can see the endpoint and the model ID along with the example code. You can directly copy it and use it in your own application. Let's go through the embedding tab. OCI Generative AI embedding models turn the text into numbers called embeddings and that capture the meaning and the context. Think of it like giving words a unique fingerprint based on what they mean. So car and automobile 
have the similar fingerprint like car and banana don't. You can use embedding for semantic search, text similarity, recommendations, and AI-powered search for your apps. Let's go through different models available. Here, we'll use an example, HR Help Center article titles. These are several sentence inputs, and let's run the model and see the results. You'll see the vector projections. The vectors for change of personal information and change of email address are close together, while delegating workflow or transactional approvals while on leave is further away. Let's switch gears to dedicated AI clusters. You can host the foundational models on the dedicated GPU that are private to you. These clusters provide stable, high throughput performance that's required for production use cases and can support hosting and fine-tuning workloads. Pick the model of your choice and select the number of model replicas. You can also switch to the fine-tuning and choose the base model. Commit to one hour of fine-tuning and then click Create. You can also create a new custom model or new version of the existing ones by fine-tuning the base model with your own dataset. Select the model name from the dropdown and choose the fine-tuning technique. You can use an existing AI cluster or create a new one. After that, you can create an endpoint with a dedicated AI cluster and use your custom code, making the custom model available for use.